Welcome to the demo on the user interface of Allegro System Capture. The start page is the default page displayed when you launch System Capture. From this page, you can create a new project by providing basic project details. Browse and select an existing project and open any of the recently accessed projects. The user interface for System Capture is very simple and easy to understand. There is one menu bar and a toolbar that has the for the frequently performed tasks. The System Capture screen can be divided into four broad sections. Let's look at these windows one by one. First is the central canvas section, where components are placed. Second is the project explorer, where you can access all the design objects, such as pages, blocks, boards, and audit reports. In the project explorer, you can specify design objects on screen with gear wheel just by check and uncheck. Also you can increase the width of the pane. You can find a specific sheet in project from search. The third is the property section, where you access design statistics and even format objects. Design statistics are shown for the project, the total number of components and nets. This statistic is dynamic and context sensitive. So, if the project is selected it will display data for all included blocks and pages in the design. If the block is selected, it will display data that included sheets, components, nets, connections within the block. You can expand project tree. In the property section, as audio 3 is selected, design statistics are shown for the page. Select the first symbol on the canvas. Notice the information is changed and part properties and formatting options are displayed. By default in the selection filter all objects are selected, but by selecting you can see specific ones. This time only pins are selected. All pins and components are selected. Similarly with wires. Select the net on the canvas. Dynamically all the information related to the net is displayed along with formatting options. Again, select the net on the canvas and use right click and navigate. Navigation view helps in traversing the signal in the design and quickly verify connectivity of a net. It displays the pages or pins and ports where net is connected. The fourth one is Unified Search, a window that shows all the parts and searches across all configured libraries. You can search and add parts from Cadence supplied or custom libraries and also get parts from external libraries, such as Ultra Librarian and Symaxis. You can move this window at your convenience. You can also search for a component within a library dot to access libraries. System capture requires the connection to the running pulse service. A small icon on the bottom right corner indicates the system capture connectivity to the pulse service. In case you don't see the icon on the right side bottom, wait before trying to access library parts, running part manager, or hover the mouse cursor over this icon from the hidden icons menu at the Windows taskbar to check if Pulse is in a running state. My parts contain parts from project-specific libraries. To add a component to the design, use the toolbar option. Or choose place and component. Notice the unified search tab is selected, and different parts are displayed. Search resistor in unified search. All resistors are shown. Now search the resistor of 10 ohm in a unified search. The command tab used for entering tickle commands, and also shows the commands used by system capture for any user action. The session log contains CDS site and a record of events that occurred during the current session of system capture. The CDS site variable displays the location of the working folder. The violation tab displays the error, warning, and informational messages that occur while working in system capture. To search a component in design, use, edit and, find text. Search results are displayed. To know more refer to product documentation.